love our moms, but most of us would prefer not to be dressed by them. Grandmothers, on the other hand, are a very different story because they invented retro chic before it was even retro. Blogger and digital entrepreneur Mikhail Naidu knows just how Glam Grand's wardrobe can be. Somehow, small towns in South Africa seem to be the birthplace of stars, and rising star Mikhail Naidu made her arrival in Heidelberg. It's a little more than two decades later and she's established a high-profile online presence with her instinct for curating style that's exciting and inspiring. One of my favourite pastimes with my grandma, besides eating, is watching her get dressed up. Her cupboard is an absolute treasure chest. I'm about to chat to Mikhail Naidu, who also finds inspiration in her granny's retro sheet cupboard. Just two years after matriculating, Mikhail hosted a reality show, so she knows all about looking her best on camera. Mikhail! Hi! <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been up to? A lot of exciting things. I'm studying now, and if I'm not planning for the blog, I am busy doing research, replying to emails, playing campaigns, so it's been a really, really busy time for me. What have been the highlights of your career so far? I've had a lot of TV interviews, which I was very lucky for, a couple of magazine articles that I have been featured in, but I think the best and the biggest highlight for me in my career has been working with a global international jewelry brand and I worked with them on their global campaign and I went to Cape Town, my favorite place in South Africa to shoot this and it was about me, my style and how I would style jewelry. Mikhail, where does your love of fashion come from? Growing up, my grand from my mom's side, she used to be a seamstress so she used to make wedding dresses and in her spare time she used to make dresses for me. But currently, it's my grand from my dad's side. She has worked in retail for over 40 years so she knows the trends in and out for many, many, many years. My grand is actually here so do you want to go and meet her? I would love to meet her. Okay, let's go. For a second there, I was like, where's your grandma? <laughs> oh, I'm the grandma. Doesn't look like oh, it. Oh, thank you so much. What is it like seeing your granddaughter in your clothes from some 30 years ago? Well, I feel very honored and proud about it because 30 years gone and the fashion is coming back that we can mix and match together. And I think that's awesome. She looks beautiful in them. Has Mecca always loved fashion? Yes, she always loves fashion and whenever we're in the bedroom, she always gets into my cupboards and always takes things out and says, well, that's hers. So she's always picking on all the fashionable clothing, yes. Looking at Mikhail modelling the outfits, you'd hardly imagine that some of them were older than her, but she knows exactly how to reinvent yesteryear's fashion into a fresh, trend-proof look for today. How have you adapted and tweaked your grandmother's and mother's clothes to suit you? The clothes already have been kept in such great condition. There's not really much that I can do to it because it looks so good on its own. But what I would usually do is I would add a belt to maybe something that's a little bit more loose around my waist or I would pair it up with a nice bright colored shoe. And that's basically what I would do to kind of tweak it up. And what fashion tips have you stolen from your mom and grand? Definitely I've stolen a lot of shoes, but their sense of simplicity, I think they don't over think what they wear and uh, pops of colour. My gran loves her pops of colour so I would always adapt to that and take a little bit of that. And um, my mom with her heels, like they no outfit looks good without a pair of good heels. So I think I definitely took that from my mom, yeah. I know that I've interrupted you on a photo shoot day. Okay, so I'm just gonna go freshen up quickly, but I will meet you downstairs with our photographer. It's amazing how history tends to repeat itself, even in the form of fashion. The basic elements were all there, but it took the invisible ingredient of Mikhail's imagination to combine them into stylish concoctions that bubbled, swirled and fizzed with a life of their own. Apart from an eye for colour, line and texture, Mikhail also has the confidence to back up her unconventional approach. You are <laughs> such a natural at this. What is the purpose of your photo shoot today? Because it's Mother's Day, I really wanted to do something special and I decided that I'm going to wear outfits that my gran and my mom wore many, many years ago and I'm going to give it my own flair to it and blog about it which would kind of give a little bit of inspiration for those out there to kind of revamp up old clothes that their parents might have in their cupboard. Can you take us through some of your looks? 
Okay, so this look is my crayons. As you can see, it fits me like a glove. <laughs> I completely love it. It's got this such a nice detail. Oh my the goodness, look at that. And it's, I, I really love the color of it. And it's fashionable, yet it's very comfortable at the same time as well. Another one of the outfits that I wore was a pink skirt. It's actually a skirt that was supposed to be worn with a suit. I paired it with an off-shoulder top to give it something a little bit more casual rather than formal. And the skirt is amazing made with wool actually so it makes it good to wear in winter and in summer and it really really looks really good on a woman that doesn't really wear color often the mink color is in fashion now so which makes it perfect to wear this time of season what is a must-have item for every woman? I love denim because you can play around with it so much. So I think whether it's summer, whether it's winter, whether it's spring, whether it's autumn, a good quality denim shirt is what every girl should have. What fashion advice do you have for everyone out there? Being comfortable in what you wear is so important. So as long as you're comfortable, I mean, you're going to look fabulous. I'm going to leave you to your photo shoot. The final shots captured three glamorous generations in a single frame. Oh my gosh, these are stunning. You ladies are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me intrude on your Mother's Day shoot. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, happy you. Mother's Day. <laughs>